Mycelium is the root structure of fungi. It's a part that exists below the ground, like all year round. It's millions and millions of years old. That you can essentially use it to bind to a substrate to create a really hard material. It uses whatever the substrate is, sort of as a nutritious medium, and then, yeah, it forms this web like structure. It's made of individual threads called hyphae. They then sort of form together, like branch like a network, and then, yeah, forms a hard material that I've created in this collection. The inspiration sort of came from my granddad. My granddad was a geologist. I came across loads of his film slides from the 60s, 70s, when he went on geology field trips, and that sort of inspired the whole location aspect. So I've, I've got family sort of dotted around the country and even the world. Like I've got a granddad in Bolivia, as well as Bolton and Devon. I just chose all of these places because I don't see a lot of my family a lot of the time because we are so far away. So in a sort of poetic sense, the way that mycelium sort of connects and like binds together with the material, sort of binds together these places. So I, I chose the substrates based on the different places. So they each have something that ties them to that place. I think the big potential for it is not, it's not just it's like material properties because it's got sort of anti-inflammatory, it's really, really lightweight. In terms of that side of things, it's really great. It can also be bio leathers, so actually replacing leather altogether. I know there are a lot of bio leathers out in industry already, but to be honest, yeah, I think it has a lot of potential to be a real like front runner. You know, people like Stella McCartney and companies like that are actually starting to, to use it. And I think it will whittle its way down into more you know, large scale use in the future.